All right, Jules, I, I want to move on to Luis Enrique, but I want to complete this Lampard thing. Yeah. Okay? So this is, this is the scenario I have, right? Lampard lives walking distance from the ground. Lampard wants to help. So we, you, you buy my reasons why Lampard would do this, right? Why it makes sense for Frank Lampard. Yeah, if he's asked. No, no, if he's asked why he would put himself forward, let's face it, right? It's not like it's, it's, it's not like Bowley and Ibali are, are, are home watching YouTube videos and they're like, oh, this guy Lampard, yeah, wait, who's he? You know, I, I you got to say why, I mean, I, to some yeah. degree, somebody would have put him in, right? If Lampard had been in Graham Potter's staff, Chelsea would have sacked everybody, but Lampard and Lampard would have taken over as an interim coach, like Stellini and Mason. Yeah. So yeah. Okay. On that point, so you can I see the appeal you. from Lampard's perspective. Yeah, but Lampard was not in Graham Potter's staff. Right. So now we saw him on. A, we saw that he was at the Liverpool game. Did like Bali and Bali just bumped into him and said, "Oh yeah, <laughs> you legend, token for the fans who hate us right now." Yeah, maybe because other than that, I just don't see. As a manager, why he would bring... But maybe you're right. Maybe you just see out of the season. And maybe just, Bruno, Bruno doesn't feel that he's ready to be number one even on an interim basis between now and the end of the season. Um, because it's, you know, four years ago, I think the guy was still playing, right? Yeah. Um, but why don't... The question is, you, what you don't understand is from Boldy and Iqbali's point of view, why Lampard yeah, interim? to start with. Right. Because I don't... Just I don't rate him as a coach. But then, the guys they after to become permanent are all out of a job right now, right? If you just, if you would just say Luis Enrique, Nagelsmann, Pochettino, let's say for the sake right. of them three, why can't they come now? I think the reason they can't come now is that they all know their, they all know their value. So in other words, so first of all, with, with Nagelsmann, I think you would still need to spend time with Bayern resolving that yeah. contractual situation, right? So then time results, they're paying Real Madrid, well, I guess it's two weeks' time, but yeah. still, right? Yeah. Um, I think they're thinking, and maybe they can still do that. Maybe they bring in Lampard, maybe just a couple of days, and then they say, hey, Frank, you know, because look, if you, I don't know if they do this, right? But if they do bring in Lampard and they say, Frank, we'll pay you until we bring in a new manager, are you cool with that? And he says, maybe he says yes, because he just wants to be around the club. Maybe he realizes that this club is his dimension and, it's in, and it makes sense for him, right? Uh, he's not in a position to argue, no, I want a three-year deal, right? It's, it's an interim yeah, thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I'd be, again, I'd be very surprised if Nagelsmann took over before the end of the season. Um, the other one that you mentioned, other than Luis Enrique, oh, Poch. Yeah, Poch. Okay. I mean, yeah, yeah. Just, just for someone Poch who's has out. his bags packed and he's ready to come. Yeah, I think with he's Pochettino, ready to go anywhere. I think there's another element. I don't think they're sold on Pochettino. Yeah, no, I think maybe. Also, remember when Spurs threw away the league title and there was the battle at Stamford yeah, Bridge. Bridge? Of course. I still think there's some level of bad blood. I think they're aware of we don't want to bring somebody in who the fans are not going to like or harbor old grudges. I remember years ago when Chelsea were linked with George Graham, yeah. and you know the whole stadium started singing, "You can stick George Graham up your backside." Yeah, yeah. Say backside. Yeah, yeah. He, to the match going contingent, there's still a big part of the match going contingent that's kind of old school. I mean, yeah, of these course, matter. with Benitez as well. And, yeah, 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 yeah. They yeah, don't. Yeah, and Rafa Benitez yeah. as well. I mean, I don't think Poch was ever was ever as acrimonious. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But no, they just, really don't like Spurs. Yeah, yeah. I think that's very obvious, point. right? Yeah, yeah. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.